What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Michael Thrifting Goomba here, and I got a what sold video. And uh, you know, I was trying to do these every two weeks um, with my eBay stuff and and some other, you know, uh, my non, you know, Amazon stuff. And uh, January wasn't that great for me, but it wasn't that great. It was more for me. I went ahead and abandoned, you know, uh, eBay some, uh, focused a lot on Amazon, uh, but I did go ahead and sell some stuff, uh, interesting stuff, some stuff that I think, you know, you, maybe people think out of the box on, so with that, let me go ahead and change my screen, we'll jump into it, we'll get into the presentation, so here we are, all right, so uh, interesting month, like I said, uh, so first item was this uh, Bear Canine uh, Advantix. I uh, got this at uh, Walmart, brand new. Uh, I paid up, so I paid thirteen dollars for it, uh, but I sold it for thirty-two ninety-nine plus international shipping. If you're not selling internationally, you are leaving money on the table. Now, I don't recommend using GSP, or I don't recommend you know uh, uh, some of the eBay uh, new shipping that they have. I recommend Shipping direct to your customer using Pirate Ship, uh, price, you know, make sure you have all your weights and everything, and you'll wind up doing well because uh, with the internal ship and everything. After this, my approximate profit was sixteen forty two, so over one hundred percent. Doctor Scholl's uh, shoe uh, shoe inserts, uh, you know, took a gamble. Was in a Walmart and saw these and said, "Hey, you know, I wonder if these will sell." Looked up a couple of them, and they were all listed in the 42, uh, 49 to 52 range, uh, but they had free shipping. And I am, I'm starting to get away from free shipping. Um, you know, uh, I just, I don't know why. I, I just, I feel more comfortable with it, even as I keep selling. But uh, these were, I did pay up for these, so these were 20 bucks, uh, but sold 42.99 plus international shipping this went to canada again especially canada you should be selling direct a lot of canadian buyers will not buy from you if you're using gsp because they pay way more in fees than they should i've been getting a lot of sales that other sale uh i think that one went to either korea or great britain this one went to canada uh, at approximate profit 16 bucks so hey not that bad you know uh 80 percent I'll take that. Sold another one. Actually, sold two to the same customer. Where? In Canada, forty dollars because I sold two to one person. Eighty-five, you know, eighty-six bucks plus international shipping. Wound up making thirty-nine, approximately thirty-nine seventy-seven on this. Again, I shipped direct to Canada. If you notice, look at. I had a lot of international sales uh, this year. Sold another one, twenty dollars, forty two ninety nine. This was a U.S. sale, made seventeen twenty nine. Uh, another Walmart item. I saw these. I was like, hey, that's pretty interesting, pretty cool. Uh, you know, this Urban Armor gear is uh, a, a, a lot of people like it and stuff. You know, I paid ten bucks, sold it. I took a best offer. Um, I made an offer. I made an offer to a watcher uh, for twenty eight twenty one. Plus international shipping. This went to the UK, if I remember correctly. Profit seventeen dollars and sixty-seven cents. For these ornaments, uh, these were Walgreens. Uh, I had three of them. I paid nine bucks a piece. Thirty-four ninety-nine plus shipping. Twenty-one forty-nine approximate profit. Uh, picked up a bunch of cleats. Uh, I believe these were from Ross when Ross had a, uh, a pretty big uh, markdown sale when they first came back opening up. Cleats are a really slow seller. Uh, I think I bought about five or six pair. I've sold two, I believe, uh, and uh, they are really, really slow. So not, this was not a great buy. I took a best offer just to get rid of them of $20. Uh, wound up making ten dollars and forty eight cents. So I mean, I still you know did over a hundred percent. So I mean, I'm not you know too uh, unhappy with that. Uh, pick up this action figure. 
uh, you know, this is Dwight from the office. Uh, not too bad, 350, you know. I thought they would go for more. Uh, when I looked it up initially, I was like, oh, they were going for more. The price came down a little bit, but I still went ahead and got it anyway. Uh, sold it for the $16.99 plus international shipping. This went to the UK and uh, wound up making $7.00. And 32 cents so you know nice doubling up uh, you know uh, on my uh, investment another Dr. Scholl's uh, you know $20 sold it for $42.99 and now shipping all of the Dr. Scholl's that I sold uh, that were international all went to Canada so with this one again approximate profit $18 so um, you know not too bad. I mean, I'll 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 take that every day. And those were fast sellers, so those I bought probably uh, either just a week before Christmas or the week after Christmas. So I listed them. Boom, they sold quick. Had this shirt sitting forever. This was uh, 2018. This was listed. <laughs> so uh, you know, and it was late 2018, but it's been listed on my store since 2018. Uh, I wound up paying six thirty-five. dollars uh, took a best offer of $28, did have free shipping on it. So, profit, $13.45. Not too bad. I will go ahead and take that. Um, this, I thought, I don't know. I thought it should have gone. I, I, this was just stupid. This was not a good buy. Um... I tried an experiment. I, I was thinking more along the lines of quick money that it would go for, but uh, not true. Uh, it really wound up not being that great. Seven dollars. It sold twenty one ninety nine free shipping. Yeah, I know. Please, uh, three dollars and sixty seven cents. And uh, I won't pick this up again. To me, it's just it's not worth the effort that way. If I paid three dollars. And made 767 then I would be okay hey I'm doubling up but you know going the other way you know 50% uh, ROI not a big deal another pair of the Dr. Scholl's 20 bucks 42.99 plus shipping making approximately $17 and 19 cents um, this was another this was uh, this was Walmart also and these, uh, they're full leg uh, Tommy Copper infused compressions. Uh, again, this was not great. Nine dollars. Uh, it sold for seventeen ninety nine plus the shipping, so made seven dollars, a little over more than seven dollars. Now, on my profits, uh, you know, I use my approximate. I, I use fifteen percent on my spreadsheet that I do. Uh, you know, I know I'm on managed payments, and it's the Sometimes 12%, 9%, 10%, plus 30 cents, plus to this, plus to that. For me, that's why I say approximate profit. It's just easier to go with 15% and, and you know, come up with a guesstimate. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger Hawaiian shirt. This is another one that had been laying around since 2018. I was happy. I paid two bucks for it at a yard sale. $19.99 free shipping. I made eleven dollars seventy four cents. So, you know, I'll take that. Uh, I was very, very, uh, very happy to see that go. Um, hey, so if you've been watching this far, if you could do me a favor, if you could, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell, and uh, make sure that you, uh, you know, are, are getting notifications when I drop videos. CDs. I tell you, a lot of people. Stay away from them. A lot of people, uh, you know, don't like them. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, my gosh, I have to listen to them and test them. You know, I don't. I just look at the back. As long as the back is clean, I'll buy it. Um, this one I had listed for a very long time. I did only pay a dollar and eight cents for it. Uh, I took a best offer after negotiating of $55 plus shipping. Approximate profit, $46.14. So, 
for you guys that walk by um, CDs at garage sales, at yard sales, uh, at thrift stores, uh, thank you very much. Please keep walking by them. There is no need for you to go ahead and uh, and and pick them up, uh, especially if you're in where I live. Just leave them. I'll come by sooner or later and and, and get them. <clears throat> these are uh, these little. They're called silkies. They're a microfiber socks and everything. Um, my wife got these somehow. Uh, they were given to her or whatever, and she was like. Pfft. I've had these sitting around forever. Why don't you go ahead and, and dump them? So I was like, I'm not going to dump them. I'm going to sell them. <laughs> so I just threw them up there. I mean, basically, you know, I got no cost into it. I put a penny just because it um, it makes my math simple <laughs> on my spreadsheet. They sold for four ninety nine plus shipping. And you're like, come on, man. But $5.30 for a product that was free. You know, she got them free too, so you know it was worth it. And then um, this sale right here, if you notice, the screen's a little different. This was a bonanza sale, and I picked up a bunch of these little uh, planners, and they're 2020 to 2022, and that's the only reason why I got them. Uh, I actually picked up 12 of them in total. 12 of them cost me three dollars because they're only a quarter a piece so what's cool about uh, uh this is bonanza bonanza's fees are a lot less so it sold for the 4.99 <laughs> plus they were shipping on top of that you know so my approximate profit was five dollars and 19 cents and that a lot of that had to do with because the uh the fees on bonanza are very uh, very very small so uh, hopefully you're you, you know you're watching up to this part so Bonanza real quick uh, if you're not familiar with it Bonanza is another selling service you know a platform just like eBay what's cool about Bonanza is is that you can link it's free so there's two things one is it free two you basically link your eBay store to it and what will happen is when you add stuff on eBay, it'll update on Bonanza. If you sell it on eBay, it automatically takes it off on Bonanza. If you sell it on Bonanza, it automatically takes it off on eBay. Uh, it price changes, so it's really, you know, it, 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 there's zero effort to go ahead and uh, and sell there. Uh, you do every now and again have to double check and just you know. Um, probably once every couple of weeks, I'll go and just look at the listings and make sure that something did, that uh, there's not something there that I know sold in case, you know, there was a little glitch or something. But all of that, I mean, it's really, really, really a piece of cake uh, to deal with. And uh, you should definitely look into it. Um, so, you know, with that, um, that's basically what has sold uh, the month of january uh i really have to kick it in the gear in february I, i've sold a few things but uh here we are the what the um uh, 11th or 12th of february and uh my sales on ebay are down but i know a lot of people are saying oh you know sales are down everywhere so on and so forth me personally i think it's a me issue uh, i have not spent a lot of time on my ebay store and uh i definitely see it uh having an effect so I need to change that um, you know so uh, you know uh, with that you know um we're trying to uh, we we yeah like all of a sudden there's a we no we're trying to uh, you know do better I'm trying to do better I'm trying to get more uh, more involved I'm trying to do more with it uh, you know as we continue along and stuff and um, you know, the only, uh, you know, we are, we again, I don't know why I keep saying we, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to, you know, uh, get better. Still sourcing, but, you know, I was trying to focus on Amazon and I think I need to change up a little bit. Um, I would like to let you know that uh, I do have another channel. Um, it's called Huddle Card Collection. I will put the link in the description. Uh, it's uh, me and my son. 
uh, and we um, are doing you know uh, card card videos right now you know we just started you know we're brand new so if you can jump over there and subscribe would, would love it uh, we're doing right now we're doing you know opening up card videos uh, we're gonna be doing like you know mail because you know we're buying stuff in the mail uh, so uh, we're gonna hopefully want to try and do some interviews on that channel bring some people from the hobby into there and then eventually maybe you know try and do some auctions and stuff and uh, share some of the stuff we have I have a bunch of older stuff from you know the middle 70s uh, you know cards that are pretty cool I have a great friend of mine who has sent me a bunch of cards uh, you know that you know I'm looking at for the first time going holy cow you know remember these were more 90s or, or late 90s or 2000s so we're trying to you know uh, do that kind of stuff so again the link will be there uh, you know and if you could go over there and subscribe it would be cool um, you know it's a great thing that we're doing and I uh, really appreciate it and I think uh, Think you guys if you go over there you check it out um you know it's good um we i'll leave it up there we uh we're not we're you know we're not opening up all the expensive stuff we can't find the expensive stuff and right now starting out you know it's hard to spend the seven eight nine hundred dollars on some of these boxes of cards uh right now so we we're opening up everything that we've found and have found in retail uh, i have bought a couple things all online but and more stuff that has been a decent price uh, at a price point uh, to go ahead and get in the market so uh, that's where we are with that again please like this video comment on this video share this video and uh, help me go ahead I just hit 400 subscribers but then I fell backwards down back up hopefully I can you know get some more going so um, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching uh, you know if you're still here at the video uh comment below which was the most interesting item or which item you uh you like that i had sold um in the month of january uh, but again i appreciate every, each and every one of you sorry about that it was my phone forgot to put it on silent i appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much um with that have a great night if you're watching this at night have a great day if you're having watching this during the day and as always as always Go out there and make them an offer that they can't refuse.